welcome everyone to Arizona Christian University in Fort Memorial Gymnasium as the ACU Firestorm play host to the San Diego Christian College Hawks. I'm Devin Henry, glad to have you along with us. Norris takes the snap again. On the run, breaking the tackle, no one out in front of him. Demarie Norris into the end zone and the Cobras extend their lead. Nine serving 11 here in set number three, winner goes to the championship match. That one just falls short into the net. Attack error on the Cobras. It's a one-point ball game. Firestorm on the attack again. Gets it to Courtney Leach. Swivels around inside, and it rolls on in for Courtney Leach. She's now your leading scorer with 12. Now, though, Garrett's got two in scoring position. Quick rounder past the second baseman. One run will score. Waving around another. Cobras take the 3-2 lead. Works it around, looking at the cage, doesn't see anything though. Bradaway right calling for some movement. You know, Rhett Rogers isn't out there right now on offense. Seven seconds. Trying to cut it in. Ball's loose and oh got it God. in! How did he do that? Fell on his knees, got back up, somehow got that sucker in the mid and puts it in the back of the net. Time. Coming down 10 seconds, one blue is on balancing zone. Actually, both technically are. 40 points for Blue. Red trying to get back on there. Oh, Blue fell off. Oh, that might hurt. Oh, they they're, tipped over. They're going to have to check that Blue Alliance member of the Beta Hawks with the stash to see if that one got up and you can just see the frustration on uh, the Blue team. Coach Will Babb for PHS, two time 4A state champion as a quarterback. He wants to add on one as a coach. They're ranked number three in the 4A right now. And Cords with the foot. That Down one landed to stop. Ball's loose. Cobras might have recovered nearly inside the red zone. Like Cobras will, will take over at the 23-yard line. So it's a win by two. You have to win by two points here. Becca Bells with the service, and that goes out of bounds. It's kind of like tennis where you have deuce and advantage. Right now it's advantage and tenny, you'll 25-24. If they score, it's over. Service, Lifgren. Gundera, back set, Hennig. It's a little deep. Rivera keeps it alive with a fantastic dive. Bellis on the attack, blocked by Marcelin. And that attack is too much. No Cobra tip. We're all tied up again at 25. Beeler in the game. Gibson in the game. Kylie Beeler back to serve. It's 25 all. Sets up near side. Cassini, there was a joust there. Cobra set it up and gives it the Frost. Right down the side. The Frost gives the Cobras a one point advantage over the Coyotes. The chance that she is a freshman coming on out. Beeler with the service. Marshland's attack is short. The Cactus Cobra takes set number two, 27-25. Ladies and gents, we're going to a third set. Composti up inside the Firestorm logo. You see that 2-3 there still by the Hawks. 2-10 to go. ACU up by 11. Shot clock down to 6. Christmas pulls up for a triple no good. Rebound almost to Kelsey Miranda. Goes off the hand of Jasmine Bradley though. Wolf Black now coming back to the game for SD Christian. Christmas going to be the inbounder here for ACU. ACU lines up for the inbound at the free throw line. Gets it to Leach. It clusters up. Passes it to Davis. Gets the foul. Can't get the layup to go in, but she'll take a trip to the charity stripe. Davis to the free throw line. First time this afternoon. She's 17 for 25 on the season. That's 68%. Buck 57 to go here in the second. Tony Davis looking to extend the ACU lead. Can't knock down the first. 
on the run here off the far side good enough for a first down and then some as the Lions now move into Shadow Ridge territory. Jed Kinch was on that carry he broke out left and he moved out and eventually was tackled by number 32 Jen Jonathan Garcia. Lions working quickly here they're only giving a few ticks off the play clock. Got about 52 seconds here on the clock. Bendel was ready to snap that before the official even restarted the time. <laughs> Tremble here on the run. That's good enough for a first down before he's even hit and pushed out of bounds. We haven't named off offensive linemen yet, but what a job they have done. Yes. You see you see these lines running out, and they go 10 yards before they're even touched or even anyone gets close to them. Yes, they're, they're definitely covering uh, Greg Tremble, Dylan Bieber, even Ryan Bendel, like heavily for the Shower Ridge, not even able to touch him. Like you mentioned. Bendel handoff once again on the run goes. Bieber makes a few good moves and Dylan Bieber is in the end zone. Touchdown Lions send off the fireworks. Devin Henry. I'm Chase Henry. Cactus High School moves to 2-0 against Peoria High School with a 3-0 win in volleyball. Thanks for joining us. This is PSP and the Peoria Broadcasting Network and we'll see you next time.